Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look on the options that inside the view. It's called synchronization data. It's how we can import or export the camera animation. Okay. Um, even a view support these options, but it's have some limitations. And from my own experience, I actually recommend you to uh, do camera tracking in another applications like XSI, Maya, or Max, or other ones. Um, Vu by itself, if we can click on a tracking information, support the um, MS, Max script format, or match mover uh, format files. The sadly about these two other formats that um, Afterdesk, after purchasing the application, decided not to support it, and this actually is really dying out application, so no updates, will be no tech support or other things. So you are actually kind of for the future stuck right now only with max script file, which is some application will provide and it's have some problem with the synchronization, some small adjustments. For just principle of this tutorial, how we import export, we will use match mover and we'll just import this uh, using those formats. Okay, so let's beginning, we'll go to real viz and this is very nice application was uh, significantly um, not that expensive and uh, nice things it was it was bundled with the VU last year when you or two years ago when you bought the VU6 and uh, I was really disappointed to see that application going away so we'll just use it this one as example you can use it also Bojo or other applications and they're a bit more expensive but principle still be same. So you can use it wizard, but what we're going to do is click on load sequence. Okay. And I have it here animation, um, AVI file that for the camera tracking. You recognize we used it before when we put it castle. And we used inside, we did it this inside um, After Effects. By using this way inside the view, we actually can create very realistic look, even better tracking system. Okay, so when we finish loading our sequence, it's very simple, just on the top you can follow. By the way, if you do same things in Bojo, it's have a wizard which exactly the same will try, uh, going with you step by step, which is very similar to here. So let's go click on run automatic tracking. Um, right here, the options, what I recommend for you, extend settings, and by default, your density and sensitivity will be very high, which create a lot of points. And that is um, okay if you want to very close up. But uh, remember, with all these points, it's take a lot of memory when you start loading inside the view, and it will be quite a bit affecting your performance. So I like to decrease um, layers, uh, less points, put it. It'll just pop up maybe a few more points okay so we'll reduce quite a bit it will be less load okay i will leave it rest as a default and when we're done just click run and you can notice right here system start analyzing the position of the points and tracking them as well in this tutorial we won't go very deep inside um real viz however we are going to create a um, set of tutorials for the Bojos or you can go online and view other tutorials which going more in depth inside the um, 3D tracking software. So for these ones we'll just need it only um, camera motions for us. We'll see how the principle of tracking camera inside the view is working. Okay, it's take a little bit time to processing um, the frames. Again, the more you have at points, the much longer it takes time to process. And if you have the full, very long scenery, like we have the original with a lot of points, it can take up to a couple, three hours just to analyze and prepare all of those points. Okay, so we're done analyzing. Next, what we want to do is go just next icon. It's very easy. One, two, three, go follow. It's called export which is, will be exactly the same, except in some other applications, you may have it a little bit better. Here we have it only one format, uh, real with XML format. You may have it um, max three script format or other things. So let's go have an um, 
hammer and by the options you can import all 3d points export all other ones i'll just select all of them for this tutorial so we'll click save and that is information already exported let's go inside the view and inside the view we go to animation and click on import tracking information next we'll navigate inside our directory here we have it our will with the camera tracking let's click open in this information it says what do you want to import track points or camera motions if um, you want just the camera animations you can disable track points but again um, sometimes you won't leave them inside because if you properly specify in your 3d applications this is actual will track points give you semi three-dimensional position so when you start placing your object they give it a little bit nicer depth and position please so let's go click OK and it's ask if we want to set background yeah let's go set up okay, so we'll use background and we'll go to load it okay we'll select our background we used before click OK you notice right here now we're creating all this tracking information and this is points that actually place it in um, just a second and it's take a little bit time to refresh the render but all these points they will place in a 3d kind of environment position based on analysis of the um, points and parallaxing how much it was changing around again if we go inside and we can specify the with a close one or parallel line like said here says this is parallel line set to right here maybe set parallel line in other places you can also um, give it more accurate geometric so what we've done for that we just put it in and export it okay, so here is our main camera and if you look on main camera we have it now animation line and this is rotating similar to what we have before Let's compress our track points. Just want to remove them from screen so they won't be around. And again, if we go inside here, and it, for example, just create cylinder. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. It's maybe around somewhere around here. So let me just move this slightly. You can notice sometimes your application become less responsive depend how many you use it. And if it's happening, you always can go ahead and purge memory. This will help if you have too much caching inside. So let's go inside uh, our window, and you can see now our camera is synchronizing so our object is following our background and you know in the view we actually don't rotate around background background what we load it okay if we preview right here in camera it's always will stay up front of the camera select our main camera and background it's like a alpha plane always stay up front so we actually don't rotate background background rotating as a movie what we imported but again if you notice that motion now very well synchronize it with the object we place it also if you look on our 3d um, where we imported points they set in a little bit 3d dimension on height and also how close or far away from the camera based on analysis it was preferred this one on the back is actually um, not supposed to. It was analysis done, how I said before, because we do not specify what is straight lines or other ones. System was best guessing, but in main case, you can just ignore them. Again, as a camera tracking, we don't need it track points. Track points do help when we start building on a distance or high altitude or other ones point, but just for the camera, can just disable them or delete it also another option if you uh, option or 
And just in fact, if you go inside the main camera, you notice you don't have any control is enabled because now you set your motion to synchronize. And right here you have it all your camera synchronizations or to other points that you want to synchronize your camera with. Okay, so let's look again. You can see how well. And you know what, let me do a couple things. Let's go to delete this cylinder. Let's go import some house. Go file, import object, actually just load it. So let's just load object. We'll go ahead in our building construction. We'll just select any building, it's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, place a building. position a bit far away okay, maybe increase a little bit in size and position below okay so here is our building and now if we start preview with the camera, you can notice he is following our terrain. But the camera synchronization was kind of done very nice. So it's synchronizing very good. Couple problems what I found when I kind of working on that. Um, some synchronizations, like for example, if you notice camera, it's a little bit moving. Even it was on a tripod located, it's tried to create again stable, but again, you have this artificial kind of shaking inside. Okay. Now, when we have your camera path, you also can export this camera path. And in current station, if we go ahead and export it, so we have it Maya script. This is another inconsistency, may be a bit harder because you can export as mask, uh, Mac script, but you can export only as a Maya script. So it sometimes can be difficult. And uh, how I say, my suggestion to you um, just create scenery inside the view and use other applications for the camera tracking and synchronizations. You will achieve much better result. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeket Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geeketplay.com.